Hello and welcome to another episode of Friday Fly Day. A couple of episodes ago we tied the Otter Soft Milking Egg which is a fantastic egg pattern for the winter. Today we are tying a very durable alternative. It's a pattern I've been developing and it should work really well and should be much more durable than the Otter Soft Milking Egg. So let's go and have a look. We'll be tying this fly on size 12 barbed Kumo hooks available from I Love Fly Fishing. We'll be using some white thread in this instance, but thread color doesn't really matter, just some thread. Some Loon UV clear fly finish in the thick variety. And the secret ingredient, some Loon UV fly finish, and this is in hot orange, but there's 16 colors in this range, so you can make this fly any color you want. The hook and the vise, we're gonna start laying a base of thread. You come about a couple of millimeters back from the eye. And you're not gonna go very wide, but you're gonna build it up a bit because what this does is help the UV resin stay in place and make sure it doesn't slide either way. So you're actually gonna build up a little bit of a bulb. So go figure of eight and build it up a bit so it becomes a little bit of a ball. And that just really helps everything stay where it should. Okay. And then you can work finish that. Got work finish in front. Okay. Now that will really help things stay in place. Now you get your UV thick fly finish. And you drop it on there and immediately start rotating the vise. A rotary vise is very important here. And just add the material as much as you need to get the egg the size you want it. This is the main bulk of it. So just rotate it to keep that even. And then just hit it with the UV light to lock it in place. And make sure you hit it with the UV light long enough to really, there's a lot of resin in there, so make sure you cure that reasonably well. As you can see, that gives you a very nice egg shape. And the reason I use the thick first is because the UV colored ones are very runny, so it's very hard to do this, so you have to layer it up. And with that, you end up with a very solid orange blob rather than a bit translucent. So if you do it this way, and now all you do is hot, add the hot orange over the top, you end up with a very nice looking translucent fly rather than just a blob of orange. And personally, I think this looks a lot more egg-like. So you can add as much as you want to make it as translucent or as orange as you want it. And then just rotate that around to even it up. And hit it with your UV light. Okay. And that gives you a stunning little translucent egg. So there's many variations you can make. There's 16 different colors of this UV fly finish range. Uh, I've got the hot orange and the hot red. You can make embryos inside. If you use the translucent, it's quite different and you can add veils. So yeah, many options with this. And if you like these videos, please click the link above. There's a whole playlist of my fly officially fly tying videos. And if you enjoy many of these videos and want to see more, I post new videos weekly, so just subscribe to the channel if you want. And thank you for watching, I'll see you in the next one.